welcome to Louisiana Heartbeats. I'm Trudy Landry, your host. And with me today is Mae Chapman, the CEO and Casting Director of Chapman Casting Company. Welcome to the show. Hi. May I appreciate you coming on here. I've had so many wonderful things happening in my life that I need to be able to find out everything I can about you and what your organization offers so that I can properly lead people to you for help. Okay. So I want to know, what is your company about? Okay. Um, well, what I do for the community, a lot of people don't uh, realize, is that I'm actually the community activist for the Louisiana Producers Lafayette Film and Entertainment Industry uh, meetup group. Okay. And we meet up once a month, um, every third Tuesday of the month, at the South Regional Library out here in Lafayette, Louisiana, um, where you have a lot of professional uh, people that are producers, directors, film crew members, also actors, that come to the meeting um, and hear what's the latest thing that's going on with the Louisiana film industry. Um, what I do is bring every month a great speaker to come and speak with everyone. It derives from either if you're a screenwriter or if you just basically work in an industry and you just want to share your talent and skills mm -hmm. with the, the public, that's exactly what we do in the audience. Once that is done, um, we network. And there's a lot of people that we actually get together and um, kind of form different little smaller groups possibly and maybe okay. possibly put a project together. And so that's where our main emphasis is actually networking, connecting the dots. And what is the name of the organization again? It's Louisiana Producers Lafayette Film and Entertainment Meetup Group. And that's what that meeting is about, the third Tuesday of every month. Yes, ma'am. It starts at what time? It starts at 7 p.m. and we usually end about 8.45, close to 9 o'clock. Well, uh, um, I'd like to plug the Writers Guild, which I'm the president of, and I'm excited to know about your organization. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, I want to dedicate this show to finding out anything and everything I can so that we can network and we can share so the new authors want to be or the new script writers want to be or the new producers want to be will be able to go and find out more and network and be connected like you said mm -hmm. to like-minded people of the same interest Correct. let me ask you this when did you form this and why um, the meetup group actually began um, in 2006 okay. June of 2006 and how it all derived is from me actually being a part of um, City of Is Arts, they had a um, theatrical program that was there, and I was one of the actors that was there. I was working with Dr. Alexander Marshall, and the, the title of the play was Rose's Children. And so I played the grandmother, of course, but there was a gentleman um, by the name of Biscuit. You know, a lot of people know Biscuit from a long time ago. He came to me. He said, May, you know, there's a meeting going on in um, Baton Rouge. You know, you want to go? And I'm like, yeah, what is it about? It's about the film industry. And I, we're talking about 2006 when it actually started moving in. So I became quite curious, and I gathered a few of us, and we said, let's go down there and check it out. We went down there, and I happened to meet up with um, Mr. Wayne Douglas Morgan, who's actually a producer. And uh, we start talking and all, and um, every time they would have a meeting out there, right along with Susan Labrie, you know, I said, God, I'm just growing more interest. How can we get this to Lafayette, Louisiana? So they told me, they said, well, May, if you form a meetup group, you know, in your area, we can make it happen. They said, now, several people have tried before, but they couldn't get it going. And so I said, okay, well, just give me some time. I'll go ahead and get it going. So he gave me the, the structure on how to get, get it moving. And what I did within a week's time, I pulled together everybody that he said that I needed to form the group. In a week? In one week. Wow. And so um, I was just that determined. I wanted, you know, the film industry was popping in New Orleans and happening out there in Baton Rouge. And I'm like, God, we need that in Lafayette area. We need to know as much information as they, that they know. So what I did, I, t you know, held the torch and said, I'll be the one to get it done. And so um, since 2006, um, it's been a, a journey of our lives. And now we're in 20, you know, we're 2015 and we're still going strong. And you've made this story way too short. You know that, <laughs> right? Okay, let's find out. Could you share with us some of the people, for example, who has attended your meeting that maybe went on and would benefit by attending your meeting? Oh, my God, there's so many. Um, well, I, so, I you know, there, there's, there's so many people that have actually come to the meetings, that have networked with people throughout the meeting. They have now moved on to California. Either they're producing, directing, or doing some type of um, work in the field of the industry. A lot of the crew members um, that were here in the Lafayette area, now they're working out there in New Orleans. And um, it's just so many people. I have one member right now, um, she was actually on Skin Wars. 
And so she's been at my meetings for quite some time. And so it just is so inspiring just to see her on television. And we were like, she belongs to our meeting. And I was <laughs> like, I know, isn't that amazing? So um, you'll be surprised what happens just by networking. Networking mm -hmm. um, is so powerful. We're, we're actually a family. And I treat everybody as though we're a family. You know, I make it very comfortable for our meetings and so that people are welcome and always welcome to come. And what about Facebook? That's how I keep up with you. I'm lucky I got you on the screen today. But Facebook lets me know all kinds of nice things that you, when you have time, yes. you post. Yes. Let's brag about, let's share a little bit okay. what's happened. Okay, well, let me talk about the, the organization itself. We yes. actually, it's www.fi, it's film in um, ind.meetup.com back, backslash 263 and I'm going to say that again it's yeah. www.filmind.meetup.com backslash 263 and that's our site in order for anyone if you want to join it's free to join mm -hmm. okay now on there I started out with seven members now I have over 470 members wow. just on that site now on Facebook alone we have over a thousand people online that have actually joined our organization. And so what our main purpose is just, just get the word out and educate those out there that need our help. You know, we want to network with everyone. Well, now I know you make a living somewhere in between all this. So what you do, is that what you do for fun? Or is this um, no, I've actually, you know, <laughs> since 2006, I've been volunteering my services with that organization, yeah. and I love it. Um, but what I do on the, on the, um, in the real world, in as the they say, <laughs> Um, I'm actually a Louisiana film casting director. Um, I opened my company, it was first formed as Chapman Casting Company, and um, I recently changed it to May Chapman Casting. Okay. And so, um, so far my journey as a casting director has been awesome. You mm -hmm. know, I've cast um, many projects, from SAG projects to um, television programs to commercials. I've done it pretty much all, and um, music videos. So um, you it, were awarded something, or you were yeah. Well, I was nominated, for nominated yes, yeah, matter. for New Orleans um, Voice and Talent Award um, for top performer in Louisiana. Basically, meaning not as an actress, but a person that's out there, distinguished, that's going out there and making things happen for a community, not only community for her business and for others around. That's and a so, big, big accomplishment. It is. It I'm is. so proud of you, and Thank I know other you. people are too. Thank you, and I've been nominated again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. For something just recently for the um, National Association of University of Women, where they also um, nom nominate and look for distinguished, you know, um, people throughout the community area that's actually making moves as well. So. Well, May, I saw you several years ago at the old location of the Acadiana Open Channel. And I think you were doing a presentation way back then. I don't even remember what it was, but it had something to do with the community. Yeah. And then, lo and behold, I meet up with you again, and things have really revolved for me, too. Mm -hmm. And now I really just think our meeting is no accident. I look forward to seeing how mm -hmm. I can send people your way just by sharing and networking, mm -hmm. which I love to do. Mm -hmm. Helping somebody who needs help get to where they need to be to do what they really think can only be dreamed but can actually happen. Exactly. And I think what you our know? main focus, and Wayne Douglas Morgan, the founder of Louisiana Producers, um, his main focus and, and what I gave O2 was H-U-R-D, which is helping you reach dreams. And that's our yes. motto for our group. Uh -huh. And so our main focus is just that. My, I love to mentor, you know, because yes. I realized that it took somebody to get me where I am. So why not pass the torch to someone else? So, you know, by me doing that, I'm blessed. And I'm continually getting blessed because I'm out there blessing others. No accident. Mm -hmm. That is your passion, your mm -hmm. assignment. And it looks like it's working out pretty good. It is. It is. Well, I have a question. If I would go to your meeting and knowing absolutely nothing, and only God knew what my dream was, I would go to your meeting and I would ask a question. Would it get answered that day possibly? Like, for example, if I have a story that I want to get it out, what would you recommend that I do? It's already published. Or I'll let you know what stage it's in. What would be your advice at your meeting there? as far as what areas should it be taken to and how. Um, uh, and thank you, you for, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for allowing all your creative writers to come to our meeting. What's actually happening in the room is that 
before they they leave there, they actually uh, are connected with a screenwriter. Wow. That's that's there, or, or a producer that's that's there that would be interested in their story. And so what we do is um, you basically connect the dots. I'm like, okay, guys, they, you know, you met up with someone. Make sure you bring your business cards, which are very important. Yes. Bring um, anything, you know. Um, that you know that you can pass along to the next person in the room. You never know who's in that room because we don't know who comes. But when they do come, I mean, one time we had a guy come who was international and he had come from London, England. Wow. And one of your writers actually was in there and they actually connected. And because of their meeting, it has now turned into um, something that he never thought would have. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm so happy that those dots were connected. But what they need to know, um, Susie, is that if you are a, uh, a novelist mm -hmm. out there and you want to turn your work into film project, what the very first thing you need to learn and know how to do is know how to flip it into screenwriting format. Um, a lot of us use, and you know, Hollywood uses what we call final draft. Okay, final draft is something that they really need to look in, look into. It kind of helps them coach them along into flipping that novel into screenwriting format. From that point on, if you're still not clear on how that works, you know, find out who's a great screenwriter in your area because they know how to take your project and, and, and flip it into the correct script format that's needed for the industry. Upon then, then that's all in pre you know, we call it soft prep, you know, okay. um, prep, um, pre production stages. So once you get all that done, then you move over to um, what we call the, um, you know, the producer side. You speak with your producers and stuff like that to find out what, you know, what do I need to do? I have a screenwriter here, you know, or I have a script here, you know, I would like for you to produce it for me, you know. And they'll go ahead and they go through the organization to put that whole entire thing together. Now, also keep in mind, if you are a screenwriter, you know, and a lot of producers are looking for this because I'm actually working with a few clients right now, Keep in mind that you must have financial backing. Mm -hmm. That is so important. You cannot come to the table empty-handed. There's no such thing as we're just going to up and do your project and expect the producers to pay for it. You need to go ahead and seek out film investors, not only film investors, but find out um, who your executive producers are in the area. You know, Find out who's willing to say, okay, I'll go ahead and pick up your project because you must have funding. You know, yes. and there's, we have Kickstarter programs that's out there where you can actually put it out there as well to try to generate funding for your project. That's right. So if there's a way there, there it can be done. But you, that's a good point to bring up. When a person goes out, they think, for example, a new author to be. I've been there. You want to tell your story, and then you go through the different stages of financial or what it takes to get it actually published, edited, design work, the whole nine yards. But as soon as it becomes that form of a book, for example, like in my case, I'm representing this author, okay, myself, for example, and others. Then as soon as the book is published, wow, something's got to be done to be able to sell that book. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to do it, either mm -hmm. you or you're going to have to uh, project out to different people mm -hmm. and let them do contract out. And the disappointment comes if people haven't done their homework and think just because they wrote the story, that it's going to be a number one seller. No, it takes a lot more work yeah. than that. But I don't want to discourage anybody, and that's why I let them know it's up to you and what, how strong your passion is for the message you want to get out, who you want to reach, and, hey, who said you had to do it yesterday? That's right. Do it slow, do it right, mm -hmm. and don't jump from one person to another. Find out what's the best avenue for your genre of book. I've learned a lot since mm -hmm. I joined the Writer's Guild four years ago, going on five, and I went in there with no intention of coming out, mm -hmm. eventually being the president. I went in there to be able to get people's stories and bring them here and let them share their stories. Had no idea that I'd be part of getting their stories printed, but mm -hmm. then, you know, God had a different plan, mm -hmm. and I really know that there's so many awesome stories that need to be told. And with that said, the reason I brought that up is because this young man was sitting in one of our meetings, quiet, quiet, big, huge, young black man, just quiet and serious, and he was taking notes, and I won't name names. And uh, after the meeting's over, he comes up to me, and he's real quiet, and he starts telling me a little bit about what he's done, not what he's going to do, what he's done, and if I know any outlets where he could go. Well, the first name that came up was you. Mm -hmm. 
Well, then I didn't see him for several weeks, and I'm like, what happened to him? Then he came back, and he told me how he had hooked up with some of the most amazing. He wanted to thank me. I said, okay, I want you to know something. If you go out and you hook up with somebody, please go back and tell May if she doesn't know about it. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was more of that story, and he, you were aware. Mm -hmm. But he was kind enough to come back and say, well, you need to go in front of this organization and share with people this is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So all he said was he was at the right place at the right time exactly. with the right person yeah. and the right meeting. Yeah. So I just want to tell you that I know for sure two people that I've sent over there has had some wonderful experiences, mm -hmm. and the rest is up to you. It's between you and them. So I want to encourage everybody in the KDM and just watching this right now that if they're interested or they know someone who's interested, they need to check out your website. Yes. And if they want to find out more information, then they need to just find out what all is going on. But most importantly mm -hmm. is know that there are meetings, so mark those calendars. And yeah, know. every third Tuesday of the month. I tell, I, I tell people it's every third Tuesday of the month. I'm on Facebook, and um, I kind of post, you know, everything on Facebook um, for those who need to reach me or, you know, guys, th there are things going on out there. And, you know, I, I believe that the reason why people don't progress is because of the lack of, lack of knowledge. That's right. You know, and, you know, if you don't know, then find out. It's called research. That's you right. You know, you have to go out and you have to research who's doing what, you know, and why, you know. And my whole focus, as I said earlier, was helping you reach dreams. My whole focus of doing, putting this organization together is that I know that Lafayette, Louisiana, and the Acadiana area need this information you know is it is it free yes <laughs> you know and a lot of times you know a lot of people don't give away free information they try to keep it for themselves right. but the thing is, is that if you if there's a good movie that's out there okay don't you share the information for free yeah. well you know you tell people well go see this movie go see that movie it's all about networking it's all about networking tell the next person help the next person grow and that's why i've been doing this like i said since 2006 and so many accomplishments have come along, even through my life. You know, the blessings that I give to others, you know, it's all come back to me now. That's right. That's what's happening with me, too. As I shared with you uh, before the show started, I made a certain decision, and now, just verbally, I made that decision. I thought it was just between me and God, <laughs> but it turned out that uh, people will come up and say, Miss So-and-so told me to talk to you about this. Would you be interested? Or I'll hear I've always wanted to be a reporter, and I guess, you know, my dreams come true, but in a different way, because when I hear something good that's so motivational or so encouraging, it's like, wow, you ought to write a story. How many mm -hmm. times have I said that? Never really thought about, actually, but now it's like, would you write it for me? And I'm like, whoa, well, I need to find somebody else, but yeah, I know, because yeah. too many stories started falling in my place, and so I said, but, you know, maybe I could be the resource mm -hmm. to connect them to the person ghostwriting, uh, proofreading, uh, editing, exactly. illustrators, and all this kind of stuff. So, those kind of people attending your meetings? Yes. <laughs> They're all in there. You, It's awesome. amazing. You know, I said, just make sure those who come to the meeting, you bring your business card. That's right. And then I give an opportunity for everyone in the room to kind of introduce themselves so you know exactly who's there. It's, wow. not, it's not a quiet meeting. Right. So, it's kind of yeah. like you. You, just, you <laughs> was minding your own business. Yes. And you much. just happened to be reading something <laughs> in the back area where I was having the writer's mm -hmm. guild meeting. I was and meant I to be there. Hat. I was meant to be there. Unknowingly, <laughs> I was meant to be there. It was awesome. Yeah. And I love the way you handled it. But it was it's no accident. Yes, yeah, no okay. accident. So I was having this meeting, Kayana, one of the monthly meetings we meet, the writer's guild, the, second, the last Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. at Barnes & Noble in Lafayette. And I have this habit of had, having everyone stand up, say who they are briefly, and uh, what kind of genre they write in, and so everybody gets to see and hear, then they can connect afterwards. Well, here's this young lady sitting next to me right now. This was in the back of the room in a comfortable chair, and she's reading, and I go, well, would you like to stand up and tell us? And she admits that she really was not part of the meeting, mm -hmm. but she was glad she was there. And then she brought up something about the Writers Guild of America or something like that. I'm like, what? So we invited her to come back the next time to come speak, and that's how I met yes. Mae Chapman, yes. who had more to the story yes. than I needed to find yes. out. It's and it's been a blessing ever since. It has. We've it only has. crossed paths maybe three times, but it's been awesome each time. It so. has been. And I think that. Uh, and I think the coolest thing about it all is that we're on the same mission. And yay! And so I that's know. that's Isn't what that I awesome? love about it. Is 
I love it, and you're so down to earth. You're so real, and that's what people want. They want to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. They want to trust. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. I will not send anyone out unless I know yes. that that's where they need to go. Because yes. when the person says, I trust you, yes. that that means is, a lot. that's an honor, mm -hmm. first of all, to be thought of that way. Mm -hmm. Well, we have five minutes left in the show, and let me tell you right now, as I know, this timer is working really good. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I'm looking for the signals and all that. Is there anything we haven't covered that you would like to cover? Um, there's a few accomplishments and stuff okay. along the way good, that good, good. Um, I like to, you know, Katie Anna to know, you know, that has happened in my life. Um, as I said before, I own um, May Chapman Casting Company. I'm also working right along with the recording artist and multi platinum, platinum recording artist Cupid. Yay. And so um, I actually um, work with his uh, fitness company, Kirobis Fitness. And so we get to tour a lot. Um, we've been um, opening for halftime shows for basketball games and stuff like awesome. that. We've done in Essence Festival, and now we're connected with Steve Harvey. And so we've been part of Steve Harvey's team since wow. last year, and now this year we'll also be a part of it. Um, not only am I doing that, I am all not now co-executive producer of Cold Front Entertainment, which the CEO is Mr. John C. Lewis, and um, we have a co another co-executive producer. Her name is Carol Lewis. And what we've actually done is come together and um, basically we put our money together and stated that, hey, we're going to go out there and help independent filmmakers with the facil facilitating fundings for wow. their projects. Wow. And so um, our CEO is very proud um, to actually sit down and say he'll be willing to help those who need help. And I'm excited to be a part of the team. So we're actually, we've been sitting down and meeting with different filmmakers and stuff like that and um, seeing if you know, they meet the criteria because there is a criteria when it comes to the um, to Cold Front Entertainment. Also, um, we're venturing out into looking at working with the youth as well Great. and um, in helping and facilitating some type of funding for scholarships for them. So I'm so happy to be a part of... You need to put that shoulder over there. I need to rub <laughs> a little bit more shoulder with to you, To be a lady. part of the organization, not only, you know, like I said, with my company, Cupid's company, but also Cold Front Entertainment. It's just been a, a journey of my life, and I'm enjoying it, you know. Well, I want to add that I have uh, been following Cupid for a long time, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to hear that he is getting the recognition that I personally am glad that he is getting mm -hmm. because the kids loved him, Lord, yes. a while back. People were trying to get him for birthday parties, yes. and... And, um, I mean, he is, was in such demand then. And then once in a while, I get a glimpse of him dancing on mm -hmm. television for somebody or a mm -hmm. fundraiser. So that's good. Yeah. I am excited to hear that kind of news yeah. and that you're involved in it. Yes, it's wow. amazing. Everybody it's say, I didn't amazing. know you were you, you were that involved. I say, I, when it comes to the entertainment you're industry, just busy. I am very busy. And now I'm helping other artists that are out there, and we're working on different film, film projects as well. So if people need more information in that area, they can also check out your website and yes. get that, and um, they can ask the question. Yeah, they can also go to my website, which is chapmancasting.weebly.com. Right. Guys, gotcha. if you need to reach out to me, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. So, um, you know. You're a one-stop shop. Pretty Almost. much, pretty much. And the amazing thing is I do my own PR, my own marketing. And so far by me doing that, you know, it's been working out quite well. I have connections with East Coast, West Coast, down South. So um, just, it's, like I said, an incredible journey of my life. Well, I'm just <laughs> feeling really, really blessed and honored that you're at the same table sharing all of this. And yet I'm believing that Acadiana out there mm -hmm. is going to understand all of this is here. So, man, I know that somebody mm -hmm. out there that's going to be watching this show is going to co contact your webpage. I'm going to be plugging it on Facebook. Yeah. And I'm time. right here. My office is right they here in the center, the center of the all. I'm in the all center. Wow. So, um, guys, if you need to reach out to me, hey, just go to my website, you know, go to Facebook, find out where I am. You know, I'm available. And I tell you what, you have been watching Louisiana Heartbeat, and today we had our CEO and casting director of the May Chapman Casting LLC Company. And at this time, we're almost ready to end the show. So, you know what? Check out her information and know this, that we are on every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. It might just be you or me that we are showcasing. <laughs> but today, you heard it here. We have our local one-lady stop shop. Anybody interested in any area of movie industry, publishing as far as uh, scripting, they need to go to that meeting. They yes. need to check out that meeting, which is free, and it is the third Tuesday of every month. Of every month. Yes, and that's the Louisiana Producers Lafayette Film and Entertainment Meetup.
You heard South, it. South Regional Library. <laughs> That's important. So if you watch this show, then you'll know. If you have any questions, though, you can always email us also at praisemusicproduction at cox.net. Thank you for watching.